Hey everyone, Tech OG here, representing those who are 40 and up, who love their tech, especially their GPD Win 2. And this video is um, for me to talk about the Windows 10 October update. Um, I've actually updated this. Now, there are some videos that say to turn off the Windows update on here so that you can, you know, keep the uh, Windows that you have that works well with the GPD Win 2, the one that was already installed on the GPD Win 2 when it shipped. But I went along and updated to the October um, update for Windows 10. And this is the uh, information or the version, as you can see the version. The version that I've read about was 1803. I have 1809 installed on October 4th. Now, the version numbers are changing because according to some people, when they've updated the uh, OS, uh, some of their files have deleted. E even though it says you know on screen when it is selling for the first time that your files are protected or whatnot. Well, not in this case. For some people, not all people, um, some files have been deleted. Um, lucky enough for me, I didn't. Ha I barely had anything on here for files to be deleted. So I was lucky enough to see that all of my apps, the programs that I've, I installed on here uh, before the update, they still work. Such as my uh, Vegas Pro. What else I got here? Dragon Ball. I didn't try my games yet. And I'm not playing this one yet. Dragon Quest 11. I'm playing that after I beat Dragon Quest Heroes 2. So I'm kind of like made almost halfway through the game. And I bought this maybe or the, uh, 11. Bought it, I think, maybe two, two and a half weeks ago. And I told myself, even though I'm hearing a lot of great things about this game. And I played a lot of lot, lot of Dragon Quest games. Excuse my repeatedness. I'm tired. It's like past 11. It's past my bedtime. Got to get to sleep so I can get some sleep. And get and go to work. Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. But um, tried out a couple of uh, programs. And they seem to work so no files from these programs were deleted. Knock on wood. So... When I go through all of these, I'll let you know how well they work. And I just recently installed and beat Wonder Boy, Wonder Boy the Dragon Trap. So I just beat it today, and that runs flawlessly. Um, don't know about copyright for this game as far as uh, turning on a song, but I can at least show you how it runs on a GPD-1-2. And this is 64-bit. So I beat it. Right now I'm Hawkman. And I have the Tasmanian sword so I can uh, switch characters at will. And I've seen in one video that um, to switch characters you gotta do one thing but I discovered you gotta do something else. So I'll show you what that is, so that um, when you're playing this game, you know exactly how to switch to different characters, as you can see. Pay out, pay out, pay out. I love the animation. It looks like a cartoon. I like that, and the button response is really, really good. to the client and break the bricks. So it runs really, 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 really good. And actually, I'll say this because this is the way to get to the uh, Tasmanian Sword for those of you who haven't found it yet. I mean, it's easy to find if you go on YouTube and find someone else that made a video on how to find it. But I'm going to give you the, I'm going to give you a video on that too, so that it's uh, easy to find and whatnot. Like I said, 
it's running great. Runs really, really great. Pause it. Turn the title. Quit. Boom. So 1809 runs great. And in my personal opinion, my games run slightly faster. When I play Dragon Quest Heroes 2 on here, I had to adjust the settings and the configuration, setting configuration, so that it'll run at a pretty good, decent uh, speed. And even at a pretty good, decent speed, putting everything on low, it was kind of choppy. Like it was losing frame rates. With the update, it runs a lot, not a lot smoother, I would say slightly smoother. And that slightly smoother is good enough for me. So basically, there's a update. Speeds Windows 10 up a little bit. So when you click on the Windows icon, you get that. When you click in the search bar, your Cortana, a lot different. Check that out. So it's bigger. You got some little windows here. You can search for apps, settings, documents, photos, web. So it's kind of cool here. You can sign into Cortana, yada, yada, yada. So that's pretty cool. Cortana changed a little bit. These icons, yeah, they're pretty much the same. I guess for your apps and stuff and your information, that stays the same. You got your people tab, documents, pictures, settings, of course your power on and off. All of this stays the same. And, and there's this one YouTuber that shows you how to turn off certain things when you uh, download an update and in the sauce. There's certain things that turn on on Windows 10 that you may not want on. So I'm going to leave a link to this person's video that shows you how to turn off a lot of these things that are already on that might slow down progress or might slow down your OS or whatnot. So I followed the video and I mean, I didn't follow it precisely. I didn't turn off everything that the person told you to turn off. I did most of it. And not sure if I see any significant change as far as turning off the stuff but I do notice like I said with Dragon Quest Heroes 2 um, that it runs slightly better than uh, having a previous Windows OS on here and again when you look at the number it says 1809 but when you look on the top it says Windows 10 Pro for those who have a GPT until you already know that this ships with Windows 10 Home why is Pro on here? I didn't put it on there. Lucky for me, the previous owner who installed the Dogfish SSD on here, um, he installed Windows 10 Pro on the SSD, and so I have, with the serial number that came with the um, GPD-1.2, eight copies of Windows 10 Pro. Am I happy? The dog on too, and I'm happy. Now, uh, do I notice a, a difference between Home and Pro? I don't even know the difference myself. I just know that I got the program and I'm happy. So other than that, things are running great. I didn't again find any uh, loss of uh, documents or anything. But um, if I do come across any, if a program doesn't work, I'll let you know in a follow-up video. But for the most part, if you didn't um, disable your updates, go ahead. I mean, back up everything that you have before you update so that you'll still have your files just in case this does uh, delete some files that you have. So back up your games, back up your whole OS, back up everything on a hard drive, or my case, a one terabyte SSD drive so it'll load up fast um, so that you can um, update your OS. Tell me how you like it. Tell me if your games run a little bit faster or anything like that. Um, let me know in the comments. And if you like the video, of course, leave a thumbs up in the um, for the video. And if you didn't know, subscribe to my channel yet. Definitely subscribe to my channel. Let your friends know about my channel. 100% honest, up front, in your face, nonchalant, tell you like it is channel. And I hope to see you in my next video.